Welcome everybody to the 2019 SEMA show. My name is Aaron Schulenberg, Executive Director of the Society of Collision Repair Specialists, and you're joining us here in the SERS booth on the opening day of the show. Um, we're really excited for the demonstration that we're about to give you. Uh, SERS announced our blueprint optimization tool that we launched here at SEMA, and we were really fortunate to win best new product of the collision repair and refinish section uh, for the, the show this year. Um, and we're really grateful to the judges and the people who participated who saw the value in the tool that we're about to do. This is an evolution of our guide to complete repair planning, which we actually launched almost nine years ago to help shops identify and remember operations that they may overlook on their estimates. This is a way to take that one static manual document and turn it into an automated process that increases efficiency. And so with us today, we have Danny Grudenberg with the DEG and Kelly Smith, who is part of the product manager for this blueprint optimization tool and part of the development team. So I'm gonna turn it over to Kelly to give some details about how the tool works, walk you through the processes, and then her and Danny will answer questions about how shops will use this tool. So Kelly, thanks so much for being here. Awesome, thank you so much for having me. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into the demo here. We've made it pretty simple, so it'll be configured for you at the time of installation. So when you're ready with your estimate, all you'll have to do is save to import that into the tool. And as you can see, it's only gonna take a couple of seconds for it to pull in here and for the tool to run an audit for potentially missed repair operations. All of your estimates are always gonna be displayed here on the left-hand side. To view the potentially missed repair operations, simply just click on the estimate that you'd like to review. The estimate repair lines view here is going to show you your estimate within the application. And the estimate operations view is where you can view the potentially missed operations. They're going to be sorted for you between high frequency and low frequency items. The high frequency are the ones that you're going to want to pay the most attention to. Um, and they are picked out specifically based on this estimate itself. So you're probably doing these repair operations anyways. So you definitely want to take a look at them. Low frequency items though you may want to consider as well. For those of you who are familiar with the PDF guide, we've kept the uh, categories, sections, and color coding consistent within the application. And at this point here, I'm just going to expand these out so we can see those potentially missed operations. And I'm going to select a few to add to our estimate. As you can see, when you start choosing items to add to your uh, work file, um, this window is going to pop up in the top right hand corner here. Let's go ahead, we're going to choose these here. That looks good. These items are going to be sorted um, by all for you. You can also choose to uh, sort those by database items only, uh, which are within the estimating software itself or manual items, which are additional operations you might choose to add. The best part about the part code items here is that they are gonna be added to your estimate in the correct section, in the correct language, and with your shop's pre-configured values. So there's no adding them to the end of the estimate, it's just gonna add them correct to the correct portion where they belong. So once you have your items ready to go, going to go ahead and add our database items, as we said, through the estimating software. And as you can see, that's been added under the appropriate section there. Once you've added that database item, we're going to go ahead and cross that off in our work file and move on to our manual items. And instructions on how to do that are going to be listed at the bottom of the work file here for you. All you need to do is just simply click on your estimate. And as you can see, those items have been added in the appropriate sections of the estimate with the correct language and with your uh, shop's pre-configured values as well. So now we've uh, reviewed everything and uh, your estimate is ready to go. Perfect. Yeah. I'll kind of add to it. Yeah, thanks. So I just want to uh, share that this, this tool really helps take a rider who may be a good rider and makes them a better rider. This tool allows a shop to automatically configure common operations, whether it be a scanning operation, a color sand and polish operation, 
So that way the tool automatically picks it up without having to remember going down the estimate what you need to add in. And these are in the, the parts code and your common uh, forgettable items are the ones that we commonly miss because they're not just something you can select out of a database. So if you're a good writer, this tool makes you a better writer. If you're a better writer, this makes you a best writer in the shop. So again, with one scrub, this tool essentially can pay itself off by all the operations that it's picking up for you. So a lot of, a lot of key things, and it's all configurable to your parts code table. So if, if you have a, a large organization or if you want to create consistency within your organization, you can do so without having to have you know, one opinion you know, throughout different riders or anything like that. So it's a really benef uh, beneficial tool, and it's all us using everything from the guide to complete repair planning uh, booklet. So awesome thing. Um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to come up here. You know, we, we, can, we can show you anything, uh, play with it. But uh, again, it's, it, one scrub is all it takes to pay itself off. Thank Nicely you. Done.